when you sum two oscillations with a common frequency. You can always represent that as a single oscillation. It's got the same frequency. Why is that the case? Well, I'll look at the simple example of, say, constant times cosine omega t plus a constant times sine omega t. So two waves with different amplitudes, but the same frequency omega. Think about the formula for the sum or difference cosine of two angles. Cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta is cosine alpha minus beta. So if I think of the cosine omega t is the cosine alpha and the sine omega t is the sine alpha, I'll think of the a, well, I'd like it to be the cosine of beta. And I'd like the b to be the sine of beta. And when I have to do some adjustment, you know, a and b don't have to be between negative 1 and 1. But if I take a and b and divide each by the square root of a squared plus b squared, watch what you create geometrically. What you create is an angle beta, identified with the point a, b in the plane. And the cosine of that angle is a over the square root of a squared plus b squared by the Pythagorean theorem, and the sine of that angle, beta, is b over the square root of a squared plus b squared by the Pythagorean theorem. To make it legitimate to divide by square root of a squared plus b squared, let's multiply by the square root of a squared plus b squared on the outside. Now I still have the same expression, f of t, that I wrote at the beginning, but I can write it now as the cosine of the sum or difference of two angles. So I have square root of a squared plus b squared cos omega t cos beta plus sine omega t sine beta. This will be the difference of two angles, omega t and beta. So f of t is square root of a squared plus b squared square rooted cosine omega t minus beta. This is a single oscillation with the same frequency as the two originals. It's got a different amplitude. It also has a phase shift. In other words, it starts the cosine function at a different time, beta over omega. It's called the phase shift. Visually, I have two functions, a cosine and a sine function. And I graph them see the cosine function in blue, the sine function in red, and when they sum, they sum this green cosine wave. Well, it could be a sine wave too, but this green wave, you see that green wave has the same frequency, same period as the original two waves. It's just started in a slightly different location.